right, so we've asked ourselves the, the critical questions of, do we want to even own a business? And the answer is yes, we want to buy a business. We want to keep going. We're really excited. And so where do we start? And the first place I always like to start people is research. Research, research, research. A little bit of research now will save you a ton on the back end. And so when I say research, I mean going out and talking to business owners and saying, hey, Jack, what do you like about running an HVAC business? What don't you like running about HVAC businesses? Because here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna get feedback. You're gonna get pros and cons of each. And then you can pick and choose which kind of problems you, you're gonna have because you're gonna have problems in owning a business no matter what. The difference is by doing the research up front, you get to choose those problems in the long run. And you know, maybe you don't understand what those problems are now, but by talking to business owners, you will. You will dig in and they'll say, hey, you know, I have cash flow issues monthly. It's a very tight cycle. Or, hey, you know, I can never get loans because I don't have any assets in this business. So it has to come out of my pocket or I have to go raise money from somebody else. So we've done our research. We've talked about pros and cons. We know what kind of problems we want, we don't want. We are seeing like what is competition like in this market? What is competition like in this area? What is competition like in this industry? You want to know all of these things. And then you get to go into my favorite part of explaining to people who are trying to acquire businesses is you get one or the other. You get location or you get industry. If you go and say, I'm in a suburb of San Francisco and there's 10 HVAC companies the size that I want, they're established, they have marketing, they're good companies. You have to hope that one of those 10 sells and wants to sell to you, not private equity, not whoever. So I always say, hey, I don't want to be in that specific suburb. I'm fine being in any of these 10 suburbs. So now you go from trying to convince one in 10 people to trying to convince now one in 100. And so it, it increases your 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 pool, your top of funnel right out the gate is saying I'm industry agnostic or I'm location agnostic. So that was more location agnostic. I want to be in general this region, Pacific Northwest or the South or the East Coast. Or you say, you know, I really like the town I'm in. I love Denver, Colorado. So I'm gonna be open to anything in Denver, Colorado. No industry, I'll look at restaurants, I'll look at construction, I'll look at this. You can definitely kind of reel that in a little bit, but by being more agnostic to the exact business in that industry, you, you get that same kind of top of funnel growth that you wouldn't have otherwise. If you have to have a specific industry and have to have a specific space, good luck to you. I, I really wish you the best. I hope that I'm incorrect here. But as a, someone who searched for over two years and then went into buying four more businesses, it's very difficult to get both those things, especially as an outsider working their way in. So what's the plan? Are you going B2B, B2C? You're researching models and you're understanding the, the intricacies of business. Do you know how to read a P&L? You have to kind of understand and base business, what, what happens behind the scenes of business prior to just, you know, putting a personal guarantee on your life, your house, your wife's income, everything, you're going to want to make sure that, that you know at least a little bit about the background, a little bit about the industry that you want to be in, a little bit about business in general or marketing. Now we have direction, right? We've, we've said we want to do this. We know where we're starting and that is with research. We're doing our research. Now the fun part, we get to start searching. Stay tuned, we'll talk about the search next. Mm -hmm.